Hello, my name is Justus and today I'm going to teach you how to get good. There's three main concepts in Absolver that can turn you from a complete noob into a good player. The three concepts are deck making, timing and using your style effectively. The concepts might sound simple at first but there's way more that goes into each one of them. Let's start with deck making. To make a good deck in Absolver, you need to have dodges and strafes available at most times during a fight while also having a decent amount of double hits and guard breaks. There are three very good starting attacks in the game for inexperienced players that you could start using right now and that would be back trip kick, jump flat kick and roll back fist. Now you don't need to use them as starting moves but they are very good and you should use any three of them in any deck. Each one of these are fast and dodge a good proportion of moves in the game. They are the best attacks and shouldn't be in every single deck but they are a good start when learning what makes a good deck. Another thing to consider for deck building is double hits and guard breaks. These attacks should be completely random to throw off your opponent but also flow with your deck. I like having most of my guard breaks on alternatives so I can use them nearly whenever I want to and double attacks every third or so move to counter charge attacks. Finally, we need to talk about the flow of the deck. Huge mistakes that people make is having a lot of thrust attacks like jabs and attack sequences that attack from the same direction, making them super easy to parry and predict. The second concept of becoming good at Absolver is timing. This includes a lot of things, but let's begin with gold linking. Gold linking ties in with deck building in the sense that you need to know your deck very well before you can do this perfectly. If you don't know what gold linking is, then let me explain. It's when you attack at different timings depending on the attack. This is usually after you hear a hit sound or as soon as your character lands from a jump attack. Another thing regarding timing is also delaying your attacks. Now every attack in this game must be gold linked and delaying them on players so you can predict what move you are throwing at them and really throw them off. Finally, let's talk about your style abilities. You should already know exactly what your style does by now but you might not know a few things and one of them is crucial for becoming good which is buffering your attacks. If you don't know what that means, don't worry. It's very simple. Buffering just means that you press the attack button right after your style ability. So let's say after you launch out a parry or an absorb, you press the attack button so your character will attack as soon as the animation timing for your style ability finishes. This might take some practice if you are new to the game, but it's very important to learn if you want to punish your opponent consistently. Apart from buffering, your style ability is the most important thing in the game. If you manage to master Forsaken and can parry every single attack thrown at you in the game, you will be unstoppable. But there is one thing that can catch you off guard, and that is feints. Players can feint the attacks they usually manage to cancel with your ability and get a free hit in. Thank you for watching the video. Hopefully I helped some of you get better at the game and if you learned anything new or want to support the channel make sure to subscribe for more Dank Absolver content bro. Diamond on wrist and look like walking in a club and I flash like